What's, What's up, up everybody? everybody? This is Sarita and Zay, and welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to the channel. All right, today we have a, another video, MSC Magnifica Pros, Pros and, and Cons. Cons. You guys have been waiting on this and we are excited to finally bring yeah. video to you guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ready to share our experience with you. Again, this is our very first time on the MSC uh, cruise as a whole. Um, we had a great time. It was awesome. Um, yes. But there are a few things that we do want to share with you guys. Um, being that this is our first <clears throat> our first experience and you know just want to share it with you guys yes so we have some notes here so if you see us looking down per usual we are looking down at our notes just to make sure our memory serves us correctly yes <laughs> and just remember this is our experience um your experience may, may be different um than ours um i, I was remember, remember talking to one of my supervisors he went on the on the ship and he was yeah. telling me about his experience and it's like, okay, let me go and experience for myself. So these pros and cons is, is our experience, but hey, you may experience the same thing. So, yes. you know. Very true. To each his own. Everybody has their own experience. This was just kind of tips and tricks and pros and cons yeah, from, our from our personal experience. experience. So. All right. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. The pros and cons of the MSC Magnifica. Magnifica. As always, we always like to start off with the cons and then yeah. end it off on a on a positive note yes. for you, okay? The first thing that we want to talk about as far as cons of MSC Magnifica is the, the ship common areas are very warm. Yes, they're on the warmer side. A little warm. Yeah, and what we mean by common areas is like elevators, getting off the elevators, the interior of the ship. You know how normally when you're walking on a cruise ship, and you get that blow of cold air whenever the door is open. Yeah. It was not cold at all. Yeah. It actually felt like if yeah. you were coming from the pool, it was really warm. Like, yeah, oh my it God. Little, it was a little warm, warm breeze. In, in certain areas <laughs> of the ship. Yeah. But hey. That may be good to somebody. Maybe, it may be good to some people. You know, thing, so. yeah. But just for us, um, yeah. I think we just preferred it a little bit cooler. Yeah. It was a little bit on yeah. the warm side. I even read a few vlogs and. Uh, forums, forums yeah. they were saying how um, some areas of the ship may be warm on their sailing right. and we actually experienced the very same thing so right um, yeah so that's that's one con if you don't like the heat yeah. you know it can be a little little warmer in yeah. certain parts of the ship very true very true All right so number two so on day two of the ship we noticed that the ice machines were no longer making ice or creating ice in the buffet area. So it kind of uh, caused delays and long lines around the drink machines. And like, like we said, this may not be a big deal to you. We right. just bring it kind right. of as our experience. Right. And they had to bring out, I actually got a video, they brought out a bucket of ice and we just scooped and put it in our yeah. cups. It was fine. Yeah. It wasn't a big deal, but just letting you all know, uh, the ice makers did stop on the second day and we noticed delays around. Right, that. right. Mm -hmm. But one thing that she she taught me a trick, um, whenever you yeah. go up to the machine, try not to tap it so hard because yeah. you know you the got yeah. you got thousands of people going to this, you know, to the, the drink machines and they're constantly pressing the button, mm -hmm. thinking that oh the ice isn't going coming out of the yeah. drinks, you know. So just tap it very lightly and ice, you know, will come out a little at a time for you yeah. um, versus, you know, just jamming that button. And they were like, that, it's not working. Because that's what I was doing. <laughs> I was jamming the button. I'm like, oh, my God, ice. I need ice. I need ice. You know? Warm drinks are, are so, not good to anybody. Yeah, <laughs> Warm yeah. juice. So, yeah, that's just a little tip. You know, whenever you're using the machines, um, especially when you get, you know, close to day two, three or whatever. Yeah. Um, they're getting used a lightly lot. press the button and you know your ice it's not gonna all just flow it out but, right it takes a you second. know some ice will come out at a time yep <laughs> yes number three <laughs> the mattresses yeah we're used to um kind of like an in-between firm and soft mattress that's kind of what we have right oh, now ships. yeah oh yeah normally, that's what we have now basis. you know our everyday basis however on our sailing, in our stateroom, the mattress was a little hard. Yeah, um, it was noticeably hard. Yeah. But I'm not gonna lie, I slept like a baby. Yes. Still, <laughs> I yes. don't know. I don't know if I was just tired, tired. or just whatever. Mm -hmm. But I still slept 
really good. Right. But if you do not like firm mattresses, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That may be a con for you. It may be a con for you. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know if they have like any mattress toppers to offer some. I'm not sure because we didn't ask. So I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, it was like noticeably firmer than um, normal. But maybe it's what our bodies needed. I don't yeah. know because we slept. I slept good. like a baby. I still slept <laughs> like a baby. Yeah. Like I said, it's been. It's, I've been on. We've been on several ships and. You know, there's been a few ships where the, the mattress was firm in which I didn't sleep at all. That's true. You know, but I mean, I slept really good That's still. True. I mean, I, I think I was just tired, you know, just wanted <laughs> to rest, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So, yes. Um, but that could be a con to somebody, you know what I'm right. saying? So. Yes. So just to bring that to you all's attention. Yeah. So number four. Um, so we noticed that it was only one specialty restaurant on board. And what we mean by specialty restaurant is um, the restaurants that charge an extra fee um, to eat. So it was only one. And I think normally we were, well, we didn't know this, of course, like I said, this is our very first time on an MSC ship at all, um, specifically the Magnifica. And I think we, not expected, but we've always seen more than one. Right. So just to let you right. all know that there's no steakhouse, there's no, you know, like the, the normal type of specialty right. restaurant right. that you all see. Right. Just letting you know, it's only one and it's called Oriental Plaza and it's like a sushi, um, sushi style restaurant. Yes. So just letting you know, um, I'm not really sure of the cost. If I find that information, I can put it down there, here. So the, but I don't the know. cost, it fluctuates. So oh. if you do it. If you book it before the cruise, oh, they, okay. they have little plans. So if I'm not mistaken, oh, okay. um, when I first booked the cruise, it was like 20, like a little bit $20 per, per person. person. Okay. Um, but I saw it on board, it was like 30 something dollars per uh, person. Okay. So if you do it in advance, you know, you may it's get a, a, better a, a better a better rate for it. So, oh, okay. um, but yeah, just to pick it back on what she said, yes, there's only one, yeah. um, especially dining to on board. However, in the main dining room, they do have a specialty um, yeah. menu section um, where you can pay like 20 bucks, um, 20 like bucks or more steak, and get like steak and lobster, lobster tail, and, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, premium dishes, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Um, but as far as going to a specialty dining uh, area, it's only yeah, one. They only have one. Yeah. So just bringing that to you all's attention. Yeah. And number five, um, the cigarette smell in the rooms. Yeah. Yeah. I have I asthma, it. so I, I have a very, very sensitive nose. Um, so, um, but in our stateroom, you know, yes, it, just our experience. Smell, you know, we smelt cigarette smoke, um, not the whole time. Right. Um, not the whole time. But we yeah, did smell end. it. So I'm not sure if it was because of the place the, where we were. Right. The um, location. You know, of location or whatever. Mm -hmm. But hey, you know, that may be a con for someone. Right. Um, but it, it, it wasn't bad. You know what I'm right. saying? It, I've been on cruise ships where, you know, the cigarette smell was constant. Right. On this one, you know, like it, here, it didn't, it didn't last long at all. Yeah, and it could have been someone violating the rules, you know, smoke. It happens. People violate the rules. Sometimes it could have been smoking a cigarette in their right. room, which is not permitted. But sometimes that happens. So you may not experience that at all. We just noticed that, you know, maybe the proximity um, from our cabin to the smoking right. section Right. outside it could have been blown you know the wind yeah. blows because it yeah. carries so or it, the or know. the or the vents right or the air vents the air you ducts know. you know it may, may be connected to the casino right some, somehow so um but just kind of again bringing yeah. it to y'all's attention we did notice it on and off and it made sleeping kind of uncomfortable sometimes yeah. if you're sensitive yeah. to that right so, right right yeah. so number six we did notice that we heard more noise than normal um and we were not located near an elevator actually pretty far away from an elevator in a corner because we had one of the suites um but um sometimes we would lay down it's time to go to bed um we noticed um either like you know, we heard a vacuum sound or, you know, people's luggages, like especially like the lat nearing the last day of the cruise, you could hear people, you know, packing their luggage or kids running or people running and things like that. So it was a little, it disturbed us just a little bit, especially, like I said before, it was time to go to bed. So right. the walls may be thin and, you know, we kind of heard a lot of noise yeah. that we normally, yeah. normally would not have. So. Yeah. 
but it, it wasn't it wasn't overly bad right um mm -hmm. but it the walls were it was noticeable little thin mm -hmm. um but like i said it wasn't it wasn't you may not experience that to me but, that's not yeah. a deal breaker you no, know what i'm saying no. but mm -hmm. hey yeah it may happen just letting you know it may happen right so right N number seven <sighs> <laughs> This topic right here. I've <laughs> we've heard. I've heard several things. <laughs> several things, um, and I wanted to go experience it for myself. Yeah. Um, so the main dining room service was very slow. It was very slow. Um, again, it could be due to short staffing. Right. Um, I do know our uh, person that we had. Um, he 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 was he was running. Yes, I, I he think, was wearing a lot of hats. Yeah, I think he had about fifteen tables that he was waiting oh on gosh, in our vicinity. Oh my gosh, yeah. Uh, he was here, there, here, there, here, there, there. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was a little, little slow. Yeah, yeah, a little slow. A little it kind of lived up to what we had already heard. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, you know, but. Like we said, it wasn't a total deal breaker um, because we did experience the dining room twice. Right. Of course, both times it was slower service. Right. right. Um, but it did kind of push us to the buffet um, a little bit more. So we're like, you know, we had a show to go to. And that's another thing. Um, you know, if you have a show to go to, be cognizant of that. Right. Because it may take longer time right. Right. Um, to get your food right. in the main dining room. Right. So just keep a lookout on your watch right. and, um, you know, or sometimes just hit up the buffet yep. if you know you have a show to go Especially to. Especially if you have a, cause there's only two, I think there's two uh, dining uh, op options. I think it's like six o'clock and like eight. Um, mm -hmm. we're, we're not late. We don't like to eat Eaters, late. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. um, I always do early. Yeah. Any, any ship that I've ever got, gotten on, I've always done early dining. Yeah, early. So. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, you know you got your sh you got your sh two shows that they usually run per day. Mm -hmm. um, so shows we like to catch is the early shows, right? Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Um, mm -hmm. We I think we missed we missed um, one the yeah. first I think the very first one the we first missed one, yeah. and we had to go to the second show because yeah. the dining was a little slow. Yeah, um, and you so. know they may not they may not be able to accommodate you if you say. Hey, I have a show to go to. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie, we've been able to kind of do that with other ships, but right. other ships may not have had staffing problems. Right. And they right. ask, hey, you got a show to go to? Okay, we right. can go ahead and get your food out quicker. That may not have been the case here because they're short staff. Yeah. They can't accommodate you. And we understand. Yeah, we we totally understand. understand. And you know, you know, we were we was thanking our waiter for his service, but you know, you may not get your yeah. water refilled as quickly. Yeah. He's a he's a heavy water yeah. drinker drinker. Yeah. And that cup of water was gone. <laughs> I think I had to. I had to ask the um, the main the main guy. The, yeah. I, I came, you know, the major D. Mm -hmm. I had to ask him. Hey, um, I, my <laughs> glass Excuse has me. been empty for about twenty minutes now. Yeah. You know, um, it's not exaggerating. So yeah. it, mm -hmm. it got to the point where uh, the guy ended up just putting the whole bottle, the whole bottle of water on, on our table, which I mean, I understand, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. Busy, so he doesn't you know, have to yeah. trying to wear mm -hmm. a thousand hats, you know, right. that's, you know, mm -hmm. but yeah. Yeah. So you may experience it. You may not. We had somebody in our comments on the other video said their dining experience wasn't like that. And they had a great experience, Yep. but every, every experience yep. is different. They may yep. not have had a show they had to right. go to and things right. like that. So just bringing it to you all's attention that's what we experience yep. and that's just what we're sharing yep, with you all yep, yep. how would you rate your main dining room experience and food mm -hmm. versus the buffet um like out of 10 yeah uh dining room i would say i would give it a good i was gonna say six and a half but i'll i'll, I'll give them a seven i'll give them a seven seven out of ten as far as uh, the service, I think the service time and the food quality plays into that. And we're going to get into the food, you know, quality and things like that later. But as far as a buffet, I give that, I give that like eight and a half. Yeah. 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 I give that eight and a half. What, what do you think? Yeah. Dining room, I'll probably give it about a seven. Yeah. I was going to say six. <laughs> 
but I'm going to say a seven, about a yeah. seven out of 10 for the main dining room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then for the buffet, yeah, the, the buffet was hitting to me. It, I, it, I enjoyed it. Coming for that dining room. I guess it, it, it wasn't your typical buffet. Right, because it's, it, an, well, it was it's an, an Italian typical buffet, but mm -hmm. it really wasn't your typical buffet. So it yeah. was like, you may, you, you may have chicken and then french fries right here you yeah. know what i'm saying and then and then lasagna right here right so it's a lot of stuff is all spread out yeah. within the buffet area um but i mean the buffet was good to me it, it, was, it, was, it was good the food was seasoned very well to me yeah um, i will say yeah you mm -hmm. know i don't like my stuff overly seasoned yeah and i don't like it under season uh, <laughs> but it was it was well enough for me. I yeah. enjoyed it. I would. I literally preferred the buffet over, over the, the main room. dining room uh, on the ship. And I will say, to me, the 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 buffet has beat out the quality of other ships that I have been on. I'm not going to yeah. mention that the names, but it wasn't the worst in the world. It wasn't no. like, oh my god, it's terrible. No. You have to understand no. it. It's an Italian based ship, so they're going to have pastas right. and, and a lot of pizza choices, and you're not. You do see American style food, like you oh, do yeah, hamburgers, absolutely. hot dogs for kids, absolutely. mac and cheese, fried French fries. Chicken, which the fried chicken was fried very good chicken. to me. I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. um, um, but that's some type of baked chicken. One one of the times it, it was like a baked Jamaican dish. That or, was good. Or, Italian. It was yeah, really good. It was I good. enjoyed it. It was good. I but like it. your starches, um, your starch, they, they have rice, but your starches is going to be heavy starch, pastas, and things yeah, like that. So yeah. you have to go in with a mind of understanding and right. you have to do your research. Yeah, and sometimes absolutely. you have to modify your expectations. And yeah. I feel like we, we went in with that clear mind mm -hmm. of knowing what we were expecting. And I think that's why we had a positive experience. So yeah, it was. It was good, it man. Was good. It was good. It wasn't. It wasn't. It bad. was good. I enjoyed it. Yeah. And the pizza. Oh. Now that pizza. That pizza. That pizza. Y'all, that pizza was excellent. So the pizza was the first thing that we got when we um, embarked. Um, the buffet opened, and that was the first thing that they were serving was the pizza. That's when we. If you go back to our first vlog video when we got on the ship. You can see our reactions to that pizza, yeah. and it was very delicious. I have I read a lot of vlogs and uh, watched a lot of vlogs, and you know, part of a Facebook Facebook group yeah. for our sailing, and everybody was talking that's previously sailed. It's like, oh, the pizza, try the pizza, yeah, try the pizza. Yeah, everybody was. <laughs> and I was like, I can see. Let me try this pizza. That pizza was we good. We kept getting more slices. That and they pizza had like was good. Sauteed mushrooms and like they had like a blue cheese pizza. I would never have thought to do that, but it was that it was really pizza good. Pizza was good. I actually miss it. Listen, I want to slice right now. Try the pizza. <laughs> try it. Try it. Yes. I, I, I like stuff like that. And, and then there were large yeah. large slices. So mm -hmm. two slices were good good enough for me. True. I think after after one of the deck parties several times we we mm -hmm. snuck on to the dining room, mm -hmm. not dining, but to the buffet area and got us. Got us two two uh two slices of pizza and went on up to the room. And that pizza really was good. gone like really all good. the time. Really <laughs> like people were snatching yeah. up that pizza. So yeah. definitely try it. But that is our dining room and buffet yes, experience. That is our experience. And that's also our last con. So, yeah, that wasn't Yeah, that was our that last con. Bad. Um there there are two two little tips tips though that yes. we do want to share as far as the dining room is concerned. Yes. If you do go to the dining room, the portion sizes can be a little, little on the smaller side. Yes. Um, so you may, um, you know, if you do elect to go to the dining room area, just know, you know, if if you don't like smaller sizes, yeah, you'll have to go, you know, to the buffet area really and to serve get yourself. you get you yeah. a little bit more, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But I, I do um, want everybody to experience main dining room, of absolutely. course. Absolutely, yeah, definitely it's really, it's really try for it, but. Yeah, the portion sizes we noticed yeah. were on the smaller yeah. size. So just to let you guys know. And then <laughs> she had an experience. Uh, yeah. You know, with the first, the first, the first time going yeah. to the dining room. Yeah. Uh, so I got the lasagna, and you know, I'm like, you know, Italian based ship. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I will say my expectations were slightly higher for this was the first dish I had besides the pizza. Um, when we embarked, it was my first dish. Um, so I'm like, okay, lasagna is going to be so good. When it came out, honestly, it reminded me of frozen Stouffer's lasagna. Like it, it, 
the pasta was a little bit overcooked. Um, the top of the top layer where it's normally like that cheesy layer is a little bit burnt on the darker side. So I couldn't really break through that top piece. I had to kind of peel it away. And it tasted like frozen lasagna, unfortunately. So I gave that like a low rating and that kind of made me sad and discouraged, but we still went back. You yeah. know, the second time around I had steak, it was great. Um, but yeah, so that was just my experience that may not have been, you know, may not be yours, but I'm just letting you know yeah. the pasta, it could have just, it could have been a little better. Yeah, yeah. It could have been a little better, but that's just our experience. But that's it as far as the cons. Um, like I said, you have to experience it for yourself. Don't take our word for it. Yeah. Go try it out and, you know. We still had a great so. time. So on to the now the pros. pros, the positives. Go on a happy note. Okay. <laughs> We'll start off, um, the buffet area is open for late night snacks and pizza. Yes. Um, they're usually open late. until 4 a.m. in the morning. Yes. Um, they have salad, they have uh, pizza, they have fruit. Yes. Um, just laid out dessert, you know, laid out for you in, the, in, the, in the buffet area. Mm -hmm. So Not packed, but it was If you're leaving, uh, leaving like the, the deck party or the club right, or right. Um, a late show, mm -hmm. you know, like like we did, I think we um we had early uh, dining yeah. in the main dining room, so we were a little hungry Try after after, the show. after one of the parties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we went to the buffet area and it was grabbed open. grabbed two slices of pizza, mm -hmm. some salad, fruit, and I went to the room. So that is a pro, right? In my book, mm -hmm. you always looking for that snack. <laughs> You're always yeah. a little hungry. Yeah. So yeah, that was good. And I must say their salads are yeah. excellent. I don't know what they, what ranch dressing they use, but we oh, were yeah. addicted to their salads. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really, really good. So that is one um, and, positive. And like I said, I, I know that on most ships, uh, you know, they do have pizza 24 right. hours. Especially, yeah. But the mm -hmm. thing that captivated me and the reason why I would say this is, is a pro is it wasn't just pizza. They had right. salad, they had mm -hmm. fruit, they had mm -hmm. other little little items there that you right. that you can get you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying i like guess it's, it's not it's not a full so course yeah. mm -hmm. but you know it's a little late night you know dinner dishes that that yeah. you can grab you know so to 4 a.m in the morning so yeah that's we, definitely a pro we appreciated that yes. yes so we're not prone to like motion sickness or anything but i mean honestly we couldn't feel this ship move at mm. all like sleeping walking mm. like mm. i don't know if they have really good stabilizers but that was a pro in mm -hmm. our mind, and I'm pretty sure it'll be a pro of yours if you are. If you're prone to being seasick, it could be a pro for you. So yeah, that's it. You yep. really couldn't feel the ship moving or oh, rocking yeah. that much. Yeah, I didn't. There were several times we were walking. I'm like, oh shit. Right? Is it yeah. moving? <laughs> yeah. No, it, so. it was good. But like I said, that that could also be with us. I think this was uh, cruise number eighteen. So you yeah, know, we're kind of we're used to mm -hmm. we're used to it. But like you and said, you, when you can feel it, you can feel it. it. Was, and it was, we can feel it, so it, it was nice. You that's know? good. It was mm -hmm. nice. Uh, which leads me to number three. Three prom a pro. Yes. Pro. This was N good. number three. Overall, ship and stateroom cabins were clean, clean. and immaculate. Yes, man. You can smell the cleaning you product. Can, that's the first thing she said when we, yes. when we got on board. Was oh my god, you can smell, Ooh. you know, the the cleaning products. You mm -hmm. can smell. Um, it wasn't like working. horrible, like no, harsh, no. but it, it, just it was, was really fresh. Good. It was very fresh mm -hmm. and very clean. Carpet um, clean. Carpet clean. They, they were constantly yeah. cleaning. Yeah. Um, but like I said, that's one of the things where I, we've been on several ships and, you right. know, pretty much all the ships that, that we've been on, right. you know, they, they, they do a good job at keeping mm -hmm. up with with the with the clean yes. cleanliness of it but yes this one it, it was, was like clean. noticeably yeah it was clean the balcony you know yes. they i think they they clean the balconies i think during the oh ship. yeah they like put a notice hey we're going to be mm -hmm. cleaning the ba balconies and spraying them down so make sure your doors are closed blah 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 i said gosh they never cleaned it in the middle i said they they are clean which is oh, yeah. it was really good it, oh, everything yeah. looked wiped down it wasn't like dust or anything mm. settled in the corner so i really like that everything they paid clean. attention to the clinic everything was clean yep. and uh the cabin steward he was constantly coming in making sure we're okay yes. he was changing linen and all very that very good job it, it was it was mm -hmm. good it was, it was but but it's he wasn't like over, overly yes overly 
what's the word? I can't think of the word, but you know, he wasn't like overly over the top. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, but it was it was good, man. I was yeah. Like I forgot I, I forgot he was even here. I know. I was like, like he, what's his like, name again? He would leave out right. and he would like sneak in and clean up and then and it disappeared stuff and then just go. I'm like what? I mean, my stuff was so organized. Like it was amazing. He Wait, was we really literally good. went we, we went we went to the pool and came back and it was like. It's like he almost was like maybe like pick around the corner like okay did they leave yet okay now <laughs> we like were magic. Going to it was, it was like, like magic man, so very good very quick very it was good quick experience. and very yeah. clean so, very good experience yes so number four of the pros so the shows and entertainment in our opinion was top notch the Two actors the dancers the singers in which everybody was all three. They acted, sing, and was dancing. Ooh. I don't know where they come from, amazing. but they were amazing. Oh, and the sh- and the actual amazing. show, the productions that were put together were awesome. Like I think it was like a, a 80s rock show. I think it was an 80s rock show. And then gosh, I can't remember the name of the last one. The circus Man, it one. It was like a circus show. The circus one. And it sounds like Man, kitty, but it was, it was amazing. amazing. It had like acrobats Man. and and the jugglers and the guy on the unicycle like it's, it sounds kitty but it was an amazing production and we cannot leave out nope reverend dr e reverend if y'all don't know who the he reverend is dr e he was amazing so we heard Who's about the cruise him. director yes the cruise director we heard about him from another um youtube couple and they just raved and ran about how they love him and he was hilarious we got to see um firsthand that he's awesome and i think he just recently came over to msc so we were happy to, to be on carnival. see him yeah he used to be on carnival and um it was just great and the yeah. same in the shows were great great man two Singers, thumbs up even the bands on board like yeah we were sitting in, in between uh dining uh the dining room and then uh going to the next our next show we went into one of the rooms yeah and, uh, like the lounge lounge yeah you know, mm-hmm. the band was this lady Steel was band. singing and I was just like oh, oh she was amazing God. like we were like looking one way and we then she started singing it was like oh, oh she singing. could sing it was awesome like it everybody was awesome like the steel the steel, steel drums. drums it was like caribbean music oh my i love God. the music the deck on parties. This yeah. it's a deck party pretty much every single mm-hmm. night yeah um Themed. I loved it. Everything was themed. And they cover a lot of cultures. Like, yeah. I love the music yeah. selections. And oh, yeah. you can relate to something that they oh, play. Yeah. And then, like, oh, yeah. the Motown music game. Like, I, I just love yeah. the music and it the fun awesome. things they had it planned. It was awesome. Um, Everybody was so nice, man. Everybody was so nice. Everybody, yes. Everybody was so nice. So, so. that is definitely a pro yeah. in our book. Yep. And number five. The embarkation and debarkation process was very smooth. Oh my goodness. Getting Probably on in, getting one on. of the smoothest that I've experienced as honest. far as embarking Seriously. and disembarking. Of course, we've been on several cruises and we've had great experiences on other yes. cruises. But oh my God. And like I said, this, this was one of those things where the, the guy that I had spoke with prior to coming on the ship, his experience was wasn't very good. Right. Mm-hmm. But man, our experience yeah, on the MAC Magnifica, smooth. We were like, "Is this it? Are we? We're, we could just walk on." Yeah. I mean, now we did go during the week, and I don't know if the crowds, but the, it was a full no, ship though. That, was, because then they yeah. had a sign saying had that a the sign ship was full. It, it was like we had full, full sailing. We didn't. It but, didn't feel like it. That in were we early or something? Oh my god! Like I don't know. Now we, we parked the car and we were like on board in like five minutes, man. Like no, seriously, seriously, like like we walked. They showed us the board. Uh, we showed them the boarding pass ID. They took our picture because you know it's facial recognition. We walked right up, boom, boom, boom. Scan that. We got on the ship. They scanned the boarding pass one we more were, time. We were on the ship, and we like, were like, it's "Like, oh my god, what?" Like, we got on the ship at like 10 45. 10 45. Like, oh my god. Official onboard time wasn't yeah. until 11 38. Yeah, I was like, ooh. I, I was just expecting to, you know, I, I always arrive, you know, because they, they, they give you a time to arrive, but I always like to be there um, at least like, what, two at hours? A, enough time. So, so yeah. if I have to go through any type of 
security measures or anything. Well, we do have to go through security lines. measures, but mm-hmm. any lines or anything, you know, especially it was a full sailing. So right. I wanted to make sure that we were, you know, and we, we didn't miss our time. Right. Because that's one thing they, they do say, if you if you miss your time, then, you know, mm-hmm. but. What will happen if you miss your time? It says something about if you miss your time, uh, you have to like wait or something like oh. that. But people was just coming on. It was, just, it was so it. easy. You know, so don't don't let that scare you. Right. But right. I mean the embarkation process. It was very smooth. Uh not. Yes. We were we were on the ship so so fast that, that the buffet wasn't even. It wasn't ready. even open yet. <laughs> the food wasn't ready. It wasn't even ready. We had to wait. So we only waited like maybe maybe fifteen minutes. But I mean, that so, was awesome. We would, we love that we could we're so, get on the we're ship so early. We used to get on the ship and the food just going straight to the straight buffet. To the buffet and we went to the buffet and nothing was it wasn't ready. You know, saran saying? wraps. But, everything was saran I mean, wraps. That's a pro. <laughs> that's a pro to me. Uh, and the yeah, and the dis the really. disembarking process was amazing. Also, yeah, um, we'll definitely get into that. But yeah, yes, yeah. the disembarking process was amazing. It was good. Amazing. Now they have two options. Yeah, yeah. We usually we love to do the express walk off. Yes. Um, I'm the type of person when it's time to when we dock, I like to go and get on off, and because <laughs> typically we have a two to three hour drive right ahead of us mm-hmm. from where we live, so. I usually like to do the express walk off. So, right. express walk off is when you carry your own luggages, you know, and you don't want your luggages taken off for you. Right. So that's what we like to do. Yes, express walk off. Now, about this type of disembarking, it wasn't widely advertised throughout the ship. Actually, it wasn't advertised on any of the videos. The day before um, we were in the Royal Theater before show. They had a large screen up explaining the disembarkation process. The only one that they explained was the typical process to where you tag your luggage, leave it outside your door the night before disembarking, and then in the morning, your luggage will be gone. You can go eat breakfast. You can get in the pool, da 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 right. They give you a set time to meet at a certain location, and then you leave. Right. We didn't want to do that. We wanted to um, do it as early as possible, with disembark as early as possible. So the morning of, we woke up at breakfast, tagged our luggage and we pulled our luggage to the meeting place for express walk off. Mm-hmm. And this is how the process went. We literally got up at 5:30. We got breakfast at 6:10 a.m. Um at 6:35, we were in the express walk off line. And then the express walk off process started at 7. At 7:08, we were off the ship. We departed. And then we scanned our cruise cards got off, we did a face scan with immigration, and we were paying for our parking at 7.15 a.m. So that is from 7 to 7.15. Y'all, it took 15 minutes. It was amazing. It was amazing. It was awesome. So it's it up to awesome. you, to, you know, it's up to you which one you want to do, Yeah. but the Express was awesome for yeah. us. It was awesome. I, <laughs> it was awesome. It was nice. Yeah. And it, it was a lot of people, you know, on the Express, Mm-hmm. Um, self self assist or express. We were near the front of the line. Now. Man, we were near the it front was of the awesome. Line. That was awesome. It was smooth. It's the only thing I didn't like was it was not widely advertised. It was. Um, it was it, only on. I only saw it um, on the paper um, that the uh, cabin steward left for us. Um, yeah. It was like the number one option on there, but on the it, it wasn't on our selling. Like it, yeah, it, it may be on yours, but it was not. I promise I looked everywhere. Because we were getting ready to do it the I other was, way. I was getting ready to do it the other way. Mm-hmm. I told my wife, I said, well, they've it's given running. us a time of yeah. 835, mm-hmm. you know, which I'm like, ah, oh, I want to I go ahead and get, get off. Get off yeah. So we can head, head, we head our location. Mm-hmm. But I said, well, I was oh, I was already, I was getting myself mentally prepared for it. Yeah. And then the moment that paper, I, saw, I was like, wait. It says Express. They have a self a self assess option. Nice, nice oh my plan. god! Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh my god, we're doing this. We can get off the ship. So yeah, um, yeah. It's not Wally. It wasn't Wally advertised on ours, but I want to let you option. know it is an option. Of course, double check. But they do have available um, for you if that's yes. what you you know so if that's choose what to you do. Desire yes. Uh, yeah. All right. So that ends our pros. Yeah. For. MSC Magnifica. Yeah. Like I said, we had an overall a great experience as far as that is concerned. Hey, you try it out. You right. Know, your experience may be different than ours, but I can say 
we had a great time. I would definitely be back. <laughs> great time, great time. Definitely. So now we're gonna go on, uh, just wanna just give you a few tips um, that may be helpful to you uh, on your sailing if yes. you you know choose to take the MSC Magnifica. Um, the first tip that we want, want to give you is if you want a private table mm -hmm. um, at the main dining room, um, you may want to get there a little early. Yes. And uh, wait in the line because there may you be a little to line. Wait in line. Mm -hmm. um, and ask the the lady up at the, the front, staff, lady or the yeah. man, the staff member, mm -hmm. um, that you want a table uh, for table, two, table or, for two or for four, or you know, and not be um, seated with right somebody. Because when we got know. there, it was originally it was like a table it was of a eight, big table of eight yeah. people, and it was our anniversary. Group, I'm not so against it. No, I'm not, not against all. it at mm -hmm. all. But I just like to have dinner. Yeah. you know with my wife mm -hmm. it was our anniversary so yeah. i wanted it to be kind of like an intimate uh, right. setting between us right mm -hmm. um, so we could talk about you know little little things with our marriage and how you know, right you know the joyous of, of marriage <laughs> uh for the the 16 years 16 that we have been married so but if you do like that kind of thing yeah hey they'll they'll seat you at at your discretion but yeah. there was no area to say um, with MSC, you can't put, right. like, oh, it's our anniversary right. or it's our birthday. They don't do that. So right. when we, we walked to our table, saw it was a large party. You had to come back, wait in line. And then they did, they did seat us. Um, oh, yeah. What we requested. Oh, yeah. And it was yeah. beautiful. It was other tables of the same thing. Right. Of different I think, couples. I think with this one, it was, it was two different floors. Yeah. So they, they moved our, um, I think it was like number five, mm -hmm. um, fifth, fifth floor. Um, they end up moving us to the sixth floor, Six, yeah. which I noticed um, the area that we, we were in, it was a bunch of people who, you know, had parties of twos sitting yeah. next to each other, you yeah. know, so they, you they know, moved so it was like a, a husband and wife. Mm -hmm. um, Sitting, like one, two, you know, yeah, like six of us in one yeah. little area. Yeah. So that's just a tip. Yeah. Um, if you want a project, they're, they're, they're not going to, they're not going to, just because you booked for two, they're not going to give you You're a right. two. So that's just, a, a, that's just a, a tip for you. So another tip is, and we didn't list this as a con because it's not really a con. No. It's just the way that MSC uh, ships work, specifically the Magnifica. You may notice that you don't have any wash rags or wash towels in your cabin. So we had a suite and when we did our room tour, it was one thing that we noticed we didn't have any rags. And we were like, hey, where are the rags, the wash rags? Um, so we had to find out that with Italian based ships or this ship in particular, um, they don't provide rags because that's not really a custom. I'm guessing in, in Italy or, you know, I don't want to say that incorrectly, but I don't think it's a custom that they, um, use as far as the small wash rags. They, ha they had like the hand towel size, but not the smaller one. So it was okay. All we had to do was call up, um, guest services and they brought up two rags. No problem. Actually. Our um the cabin the cabin steward cabin steward yeah. he was like oh he was like no problem because yeah. he was right outside he yeah. was like oh let me get you two and it was no problem and yep. he remembered mm -hmm. each day or each time he came to clean the room it was two yep. wash rags because he knew that's what we like each, but each day. yep it's not um they're custom to use one but all you have to do is request yep. it just so. request it don't get don't get nervous I know. Scared, <laughs> you know because I was looking like what I, I, I don't want to have to use this wash. And we actually did, remember? We did. That was tough. We did. That was tough. But <laughs> after that, I was just like, okay, they they have to have rags in this ship. Yep. Um, so <laughs> we end up uh, end up fine. I saw him outside the door. I was like, hey, buddy, do you mind bringing us, you know, wash rags? And he did. Yeah. And he and he it remembered. No problem. So. Yep. Yeah, so that's 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 tip number two. Yep. Tip number three: breakfast in the main dining room closes fifteen minutes before uh before they close uh, 9 a.m at 9 a.m mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. if you do plan on um having breakfast in the main dining room especially on sea days uh right. just keep keep in mind um they open till nine o'clock however i believe they stop yeah serving not mm -hmm. serving but stop seating you at like 8 close 45. the doors yeah i guess um, to stop the flow of people because right. if not i guess right. the flow of people will be constant right and you never know they may need that time to like prepare, prepare for, for lunch, lunch. Yeah. yeah so they close at like 8 45 a.m so yeah. just something to keep in mind yep 
All right, so our next tip is all about drink packages. So I'll be looking down because there's specific pricing information that I want to tell you guys that we've written um, down. And we didn't really hear a lot about this before we got on, so we wanted to let you guys know. Right. So they have different drink packages. Uh, so the first one I'll mention is the premium drink package. This is $104 per person per day. So, and this is as of May 2024 for a four night cruise. The total would be $832. That's for premium. All right, so the next one I'll mention is Easy Plus Package. So that is $76 per person per day, and the total for a four night cruise would be 608. So that's Easy Plus. The Easy Package is $60 per day. So it's getting more affordable as we go along. $60 per day, and for four nights for two people that's 480 all right the next one is the alcohol free so if you don't plan on drinking any beverages with alcohol so i believe that's like cokes um mocktails, um, mocktails things like that non-alcoholic beverages that's only 35 dollars per person per day so it's not bad so it's only 280 for two people for a cruise for four nights so that's not bad Actually, we may take advantage of that next time, the alcohol-free package. All right, so last but not least, there is a minor's package for kids, and it's $25 per person per day. So for one child for four days, that's only $100. Yep, that's it. Not bad. That's it. You also have to remember that if one person doesn't drink in the room, they'll probably more than likely downgrade the package, but every person that as adults in that room, uh, if they occupy the same room, they have to have, they have to get the drink package. Yeah. Um, like if so. I, if, if he just wanted to get a drink package and I didn't get one, we both have to have we one. Both, if, if you occupy the same cabin. If you have, yeah. Right. So same cabin, each person has to have their, like I can't say, okay, you get a drink package and I can drink your drinks. No, right. both of us will have to have one. Right. Yeah. right. So that was just tips on drink packages. Yes. Uh, all right. Now we're going to talk about the gratuities. The gratuities yes. for a four night cruise is about $128. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's going to be for two people. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's about $16 per day. Um, so. Not bad. It's mm -hmm. not bad. Yeah. Um, which, you know, hey, the. The crew, they worked so hard. Yes. Um, they worked so hard for you, and they are well deserving of it, plus yes. more. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, 128. you know, so that's about, about 128. All right. So this is our last tip for this video. It is about onboard charges. So I don't know if you guys have heard the system or the way the MSC cruise ships have things set up as far as how you charge things to your stateroom. And of course, it's just like any other cruise, you have your cruise card. But on this one, since it's an Italian-based cruise, of course, there's gonna be like a currency difference, um, USD and their currency. So they have a system set up. And it was interesting, it was the first time we experienced anything like this. Um, so basically, before you get on the ship, they have an option to connect a credit or debit card to your account. Once you do that, $250 will be held from that card. Now, it's not like a hotel hold. You can actually use this $250 for onboard purchases or your gratuities can come out of that $250 just like any other cruise line. Yep. But if you choose not to do that, you can actually do that before or the day of the cruise, if you visit one of their kiosks, you can connect your card there. But if you choose not to do that, if you don't want to connect your debit card to your cruise card, you can always do what's called a cash account. So when we got on the cruise, we went straight to the kiosk and basically we had cash and we used the cash, yep. added it in the machine and went directly to our account. Yep. It, was, it was easy. Very good experience. Um, yeah. I was a little nervous using my debit card. <laughs> yeah. Um, on my credit card. Understandable. With, mm -hmm. with the currency and everything, but yeah, I was told that um, they still work off of USD. Oh, they do. Okay. Yeah, they okay. still work off of a uh, US um, dollar. So, gotcha. um, but that being said, this is our first time. <laughs> yeah. And 
I just I say, you know what? Let me Let's get them. Let me get some cash. Mm-hmm. And this is our first time ever ever doing cash yeah. on any any cruise right. that we've ever been on. But I mean, it's just like let's do it. I, it was a four day cruise. I really didn't plan on spending a whole lot of money yeah. mm-hmm. at all. Um, you know, we didn't get any kind of drink package, anything. If we wanted right. something to drink, we just paid for it. And honestly, it, we were still under budget, you know, right. for the entire cruise. But that being said, the cash account was amazing. Yeah, uh, the kiosk was very easy to use. Mm-hmm. Um, and man, I, it was good. It was awesome. It was. It was like I said. It was awesome. It was nervous at first, but once yeah. we got used to once it, you got used to it. it was like, okay, it was cool. I mean, I think I put like two two fifty mm-hmm. uh, on our account, and hey, that's what we use. And of course, the one twenty eight came out of that. Yes. So you know, we worked off of worked off of you know what we had, and I either add more, add more. I added more. Mm-hmm. But like I said, we were under budget, and you know, I, I went. I we went with budget on our mind. Right. Um but it was it was cool like it was it worked out for us i was like man yeah we were this nervous awesome. we heard a lot of things yeah. about the process yeah. but once you understand it yeah you'll be good and now this is a, the last pro tip the day before you leave the cruise make sure you go to one of the kiosks and settle the account now you can yeah. actually go to get services or you can go to the kiosk the kiosk was super easy for us yeah. so Express settle the, the account yeah <laughs> so settle the account means that you have no outstanding balances mm-hmm. so nothing that you hadn't paid for right um so we went to the kiosk and our cruise um card and we saw that it was a zero balance yep. and then you just hit settle and that was it yep. and you can get money returned yep. to you if you have any cash if you have left, any remaining if you yep. have any cash left it'll actually come um, out the kiosk and give you cash it'll give you cash it'll give you your cool. main your main imbalance mm-hmm. um of course if you settle your account early you won't be able to spend it anymore right um unless you add cash add back more. to it mm-hmm. but you know if you want to go ahead and settle it out mm-hmm. you know now what'll you happen if you don't if you don't settle out <laughs> uh when you try to get off the ship it'll go and you have to go all, all the way, to the, way the back kiosk or either the guest services to settle out your account. So, yep. you know, I I settled our, ours out right before we closed in for the night on the final night. So I think it was right. like 8 o'clock. We, we went to the last show and we knew we weren't going to spend we nothing else. We knew we had a long drive next day. Mm-hmm. Well, it's been nothing else. Mm-hmm. You know, so I went on to the kiosk at 8.30, 8, 8, 9 o'clock, something like that. And it was nobody um, there. Yeah, and mm-hmm. just closed out our account. I think I left, I left with a couple bucks, you know. We were like, um, okay. After after the ship, you know, after the thing, so yeah, after it was over. So that was our pros and cons video, plus a bunch of tips. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully those Listen, were helpful. It was amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. It was cool. it was Again, good. this is these were our experiences. Mm-hmm. Um, I say go try it out for yourself. Um, don't let don't let what you hear. Yeah. You know, and yeah. you you may it's fine if you yeah. do. If you don't want to, it's yeah. fine. But. I don't want anyone to miss out on a great experience because they, I you know, heard of a bad great, reputation. We had, had a, a great, great time. time. I had a great time. I had a blast. Yeah. My overall, if I was to rate my overall experience yeah, what would you give out it? of 10, yeah. man, I'm going to rate this thing a nine. I had, and I'll probably do a nine and a half. Yeah. I had a great time. I was going to say, I was going to say a nine. Yeah, yeah. It's, it would have been a 10 a, if, if this main dining room was. A little bit, okay. yeah. Um, but it was definitely a nine for me. Nine, definitely a nine. For it was me. nine. I mm-hmm. think out of we, we were rating our top five experiences with our with our cruises, yeah. mm-hmm. which that would be a whole nother video that that would we'll yes. do. But this is definitely this would mm-hmm. definitely mm-hmm. be on one one of my top fives. The yes. MSC Magnificent. And we're not saying awesome. that because we're just hyping it up because of the bad things that people have said or you mm-hmm. heard. Like no. we honestly had a great time, you guys. I had a great time. If if, if it was negative, yeah. we yeah. would oh, say yeah. it was anybody negative. anybody knows they they will tell the truth. They's yes. not gonna lie to you, so I'm tell it to you straight up. It was um, fun. But it I think fun. we're 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 veteran cruisers, so we, we yeah. know, you know, we can we can tell you, hey, uh, like, mm. that experience was not good. <laughs> no, it was, good. it was really good. And and like she said, go into it with a um yes open mind. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, um mm-hmm. you know don't go into it so uh, right go go into it with an open mind mm-hmm. and just go into it ready to have fun yes very fun and i promise you you will have fun yeah so thanks so much for tuning in you guys i hope you guys enjoyed all the information that we shared in this video be sure to like and subscribe you guys i just want to thank 
stop and thank you all to the newbies to our long-term subscribers like you guys are doing numbers okay y'all are oh, showing yeah. up on our channel and we oh, just yeah. so appreciate we are it very appreciative of it very appreciative thank like you. we as you can see my husband he loves looking at y'all's comments I do as well, and we try to respond to as many as we can. So keep the questions coming and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified whenever we upload any content. We got two more vlogs that are coming y'all way, you guys. As y'all know, after the MSC Magnifica, we headed to Orlando and did like another two days extending our anniversary trip. So be on the lookout for those and subscribe and leave a comment and a like and share with your friends too if yep. they want cruise or travel tips so oh yeah thanks so much for watching you guys all right you guys bye till next time have a good time. one bye